Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we have another free pick video. This week number four in the CFL, we have the Edmonton Elks. They're at the Tiger Cats in this matchup here. But before we get into this free pick video, quick reminder here at ESB, we are part of the Seek Geek Ambassador program. So if you guys are looking to go get any tickets to any sporting events, any concerts, anything along those lines, be sure to head over to Seek Geek and use the promo code ESB. It'll save you $20 off of your first purchase. The Elks are at the Tiger Cats in this one here. The Tiger Cats minus seven and a half in this game. We have a total of 46 and a half in this one here. And when we look at these two teams coming into it, both are coming in 0-3. The Elks are 1-2 and against the spread. They did cover last week against uh, the Calgary Rough Riders as nine, nine and a half point favorite or dogs. Previous to that, they lost 26 to 16 against Saskatchewan as seven and a half point underdogs. And they lost 59 to 59 to 15 in week number one as four and a half point underdogs. Hamilton on the other side, the defending, uh, they made it to my bed. They're not, they're not defending. They made the Great Cup last year. They're only three to start the year. They lost to the team that beat them in the Great Cup last year, the Hamilton or the Winnipeg Blue Bombers last week, 26 to 12 as six point underdogs. Total went under in that one there. Uh, they lost 33 to 30 against Calgary the week uh, prior to that as one-point favorites. They were up 24-3 to at halftime and ended up blowing that lead. And they lost week one to Saskatchewan, 30-13. to uh, This Tiger Cats team is not one I particularly trust defensively. They've really struggled so far this year. Uh, they've given up the seventh. Uh, they're ranked seventh in the CFL, giving up 29.7 points per game. They're seventh in passing yards allowed. They're sixth in total yards allowed. And I just think defensively, this is not a team we should trust to lay seven points with. But now when we do look at Edmonton, they are not a great team. They struggle offensively. But at the end of the day, this line, I believe, opened up around four and a half, five. And now it's gone all the way up past the touchdown. And that's exactly where we're going to take in this one here. We're going to take seven and a half with Edmonton. This may be the hold your uh, plug your nose, close your eyes and bet this type of play. Uh, but I think the Elks can keep it within a touchdown. I don't trust the Edmonton. Uh, I don't trust Hamilton defensively to keep this within a touchdown. I would also lean towards an over 46 and a half in this game, maybe a team total over with the Elks because I don't trust the, uh, the Tiger Cats defensively, but uh, we're going to take seven and a half here with with Edmonton in this spot uh, when they take on the Tiger Cats for week number four uh, in this spot. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Real Sports Bets or we go live, which is every single morning, anywhere between 10 and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Real Sports Bets show. That's going to just about wrap it up for this one. I want to thank you guys as always for watching, and 